The universe is a vast and often extraordinarily weird place. Some places out there among the stars are so completely alien compared to our existence here on Earth that they might even seem beyond the realm of imagination. You're watching Matter, and these are some of the weirdest locations in the universe. The first stop on our bizarre journey is 370 million miles away, in orbit around the planet Jupiter. At 11 times the diameter of Earth, and more than 300 times the mass, Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. But this behemoth and its swirling storms are not our target, but one of its many moons. Io is Jupiter's third largest moon, and it orbits the planet at a distance of 262,000 miles, just over the distance between the Earth and the moon. The most striking feature of Io is its color. The entire moon is stained a pale, mottled yellow, which comes from sulfuric dust that has been spewed out by the many volcanoes that dot the surface. Violent eruptions are constantly occurring all across the moon, occasionally ejecting plumes of hot ash that stretch hundreds of miles into space. Such a high level of volcanic activity was completely unexpected for such a small moon so far from the sun. Despite the size, Io is the most volcanically active object in the entire solar system. We must look to nearby Jupiter to uncover the reason behind Io's unusual geologic vigor. Much in the same way that the moon exerts a tidal force on the Earth, which causes the ocean's levels to rise and fall throughout the day, Jupiter also exerts a tidal force on Io. But because Jupiter is significantly larger than the moon, its gravitational influence is much, much stronger. So strong that Jupiter's gravity slightly deforms the shape of Io itself kneading it like a lump of dough. The constant stretching and squeezing from Jupiter's tides causes an immense amount of friction inside Io's core. This friction generates enough heat to power Io's many volcanoes. For the next location on our list, we will travel to the planet just beyond Jupiter, the ring planet Saturn. Saturn's largest moon is called Titan. From above, the moon is shrouded in the thick, orange haze of its atmosphere. The atmosphere is made mostly of nitrogen and methane, obscuring the entire surface from view. We have only been able to peek beneath these clouds using radar imaging. A small remote probe was also landed on the surface of Titan in 2005, becoming the most distant soft landing on another celestial body to date. Titan holds the distinction of being the only moon in our solar system to host a substantial atmosphere. Although Titan is a thousand miles wider than Earth's moon, such small bodies typically do not have strong enough gravity to hold on to a thick atmosphere. And yet, Titan's atmosphere is one and a half times denser than Earth's. Titan is far from the sun, so the temperature there is hundreds of degrees below freezing. These frigid temperatures and high atmospheric pressures mean that methane, which exists as a gas on Earth, exists as a liquid on the surface of Titan. Earth has rivers and oceans of liquid water. Titan boasts rivers and lakes of liquid methane. The dense atmosphere also creates some exciting possibilities for any future explorers to Titan. The thick air, combined with gravity one-tenth of Earth's, means that you could strap a pair of makeshift wings on your arms and fly. We will now travel out to near the very edge of the solar system. The dwarf planet Pluto orbits the Sun at an average distance of nearly 4 billion miles. Temperatures on Pluto are only 40 degrees Celsius above absolute zero. Being so remote, Pluto was only first visited by a space probe, New Horizons, in 2015. The craft's brief flyby revealed an astonishingly complex surface. Deep craters, craggy mountains, and steep cliffs of ice, all covered in reddish-brown dust. Images from New Horizons also revealed an odd, roughly teardrop-shaped feature that straddles Pluto's equator. This region has been dubbed Sputnik Planetia. This approximately 500-mile-wide plain is extraordinarily smooth. There are absolutely no signs of impact craters, which indicates that the surface is geologically very young. Sputnik Planetia mostly resembles the glaciers of Earth, except that it is made of frozen nitrogen, not water ice. But, like a glacier, the nitrogen ice of Sputnik Planetia moves and flows, albeit very slowly. The surface of the plane is crisscrossed by irregularly shaped polygonal structures, evidence of slow-moving convection happening in the ice below. These barren glacial plains of Pluto are covered in windswept dunes, made not of sand, but frozen methane. Snow. Our journey now takes us far, far past our own solar system, to the red dwarf star 40 light years away. This is the star Trappist-1, only 8% the mass of our sun, and 2,000 times dimmer. But in terms of strangeness, 
this star certainly wins. In our solar system, there are four planets with solid, rocky surfaces. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Of these, only one is capable of supporting life as we know it. The rest lie outside our star's habitable zone, so they are either far too hot or far too cold. The Trappist-1 system, however, is home to unprecedented seven rocky planets. All seven are also similar in size, and strangely close to the same size as Earth. Because the Trappist-1 star is so small, the planets orbit much closer in order to stay tethered by the star's gravity. In this system, even the outermost planet's orbit is almost 17 times closer than Earth's is to the Sun, and completes one orbit in only 17 days. The closest planet in the Trappist-1 system takes only one and a half days for its orbit. The innermost and outermost planets are separated by only 4.6 million miles. If you stood on one of the planets in the Trappist-1 system, you would easily be able to resolve the disks of other planets with your naked eye. And as long as they were lined up in their orbits at the time, and their closest approach, some of the other planets would appear as large as the moon does in our sky. All of the planets orbit so close to their parent star that they are likely to have become tidally locked, keeping one hemisphere constantly facing the star. There would be no sunrise nor sunset on these worlds, only a constant, unmoving orb of red light in the sky. But the Trappist-1 system gets even more interesting. It is very probable that at least one of these planets lies within the habitable zone, where liquid water can exist on the surface. The best candidate for habitability is the fourth planet in the system, Trappist-1e. We now travel to another, even more alien location, the stellar remnant PSRJ 1719-1438 is located almost 4,000 light years away. It is a pulsar, a type of rapidly rotating neutron star, formed during the violent death of a massive star during a supernova explosion. This pulsar is around 1.4 times the mass of the Sun, but also contained in a sphere only 12 miles wide, about the size of the island of Manhattan. This pulsar also spins dizzyingly fast, 172 times every second. In 2011, astronomers found that this dead star had a companion, a Jupiter-sized planet that is a perplexing 20 times more dense. This odd, compact planet is made mostly of solid carbon and oxygen compounds. It is possible that this planet actually used to be part of a star, but the outer layers are stripped away by the supernova that formed PSR J1719. Its orbit is 250 times closer than Earth's orbit around the Sun. If Earth's orbit was shrunk to this size, our planet would actually be inside the Sun itself. At this distance, this pulsar planet completes one orbit in a heart-stopping two hours. If you're looking for a place to vacation somewhere in the cosmos, this planet is probably the last place you should consider. The gravitational pull on the surface would be 20 times that of Earth. Bone-crushing gravity aside, the planet is also constantly bathed in deadly ionizing radiation from the nearby neutron star. Curiously though, due to the extreme density of the planet, it is possible that much of the carbon in the interior has been compressed into a crystalline structure, similar to a diamond. For this reason, this pulsar planet is sometimes given the nickname of the Diamond Planet. The final destination of our voyage of weirdness is so far distant that we must leave our home galaxy entirely. In only October this year, Astronomers were able to confirm the existence of this first extragalactic planet. The planet has been designated M51 ULS 1b and lies within the Whirlpool Galaxy, an unfathomable 31 million light years away. Strange as it is to simply see a planet so impossibly far from home, the M51 ULS 1 planetary system is bizarre in its own right. The planet itself is probably a little smaller than Saturn and has an orbit around 10 times larger than Earth. The planet orbits around a binary pair, two objects locked in a shared orbit around each other. One member of the binary is a blue supergiant star, tens of times more massive than the Sun. The other member is a compact stellar remnant, possibly a neutron star or a black hole. Combined, the two objects shine as bright as one million suns. Even with such a large orbit, the temperature of the orbiting planet would likely measure in the thousands of degrees, the black hole at the center of the system probably orbits so close to its companion star that it is stripping mass from it, pulling the material into a flat disk around the black hole before devouring it forever. When the star eventually dies and goes supernova, if the companion is not ejected, it is possible that they will eventually form a twin pair of black holes. They may even collide and merge, leaving the young planet in orbit around a literal heart of darkness. Thank you for joining us on our exploration of some of the weirdest locations in the universe. If you enjoyed it, 
Make sure that you like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any more fantastical journeys through the cosmos.